So in our research, we use naked mole rats and we use mice. And both these species have their pros and cons when fundamentally we're trying to think about understanding how biology works in order to solve problems with human disease. So in my lab, we're mainly interested in chronic pain, but also neurodegeneration and cancer resistance. And the mouse has been a wonderful model organism to work with, from which many therapeutics have been developed. And the key thing is now there are many genetic tools that enable us very quickly to work out how one particular gene functions and what its place may be in a particular disease. So why then should we work with naked mole rats if mice are so good? Well, naked mole rats have a few differences that one could argue are advantages. The first is perhaps that they're very long-lived. So if you want to study conditions of ageing or just any sort of chronic disease, the mouse is short-lived. An average mouse in captivity will live up to two years, whereas naked mole rats live for over 30 years. So we can look at certain ageing-associated uh, conditions in a much better way in the naked mole rat than we can in the mouse. And also, if we think about human diseases, think about cancer, for example, across the lifetime of a human, one in two people will probably develop cancer. Now, there's an age-related risk. As you get older, there's a much higher chance. Now, mice and rats, commonly used organisms in the lab, they're almost as bad as humans about getting cancer. So it's a very high proportion of mice and rats, if it is left alone, will develop cancer. By contrast, the naked mole rat doesn't develop cancer very frequently at all. There's a few cases, but by and large, they're a highly cancer-resistant species. So if we're able to understand how the naked mole rat doesn't develop cancer, that's something that we can hopefully translate to help understand what, or how to treat or prevent cancer in humans, perhaps more effectively than studying a mouse, which is as bad at getting cancer as a human is.